Welcome everyone to the channel. How you all doing? I hope you're doing well. So today we are gonna jump into another dev blog. Second one for the day. So yeah. Um we are back. We have started recording again. And then on Saturday in the afternoon, um I will schedule it. We will be doing a live stream, maybe two. So stick around and follow the channel. And coming back to following the channel, don't forget to hit the like, dislike, comment, and share. And please subscribe. And don't forget to join us on Discord. It's easy12, gamer12, hashtag 90011. Please join us there and subscribe to our channel. We keep you informed on all War Thunder updates, War Thunder gameplay. And we do a lot of other war games on the channel as well. So yes, it will be mighty appreciated. Thank you. So we're going to do this, we're going to play the video, and then we will discuss this beast. So let's get the video on the go. Let me just put my headsets. I haven't watched the video either yet, so let's get it on the roll. Okay, that's the end of the video. It's a beast. It's a monster. So what are we getting? The Andrea Doris Dora. Um, it is a dreadnought of the Mediterranean. That's what they say is the headlining. So I'm not gonna. The Andrea Dora is one of the two dreadnought battleships constructed for the uh, Regina Marina. Regina Marina in the in the early 1910s to represent an improved version of the proceeding continent de cava class continent de cova de cova class sorry guys i don't really mean to be butchering that name um the italian captain in war thunder may look forward to commanding the powerful um andrea dora as um it's docking in player sports with the arrival of the next major update. I don't think the Italians don't think the Italians have a dreadnought yet. I'm not sure. Um, brief: A World War One era Italian dreadnought battleship, sporting superior firepower and protection. Battleship Italy rank: 13 12-inch guns, strong armor multiple auxiliary guns and mediocre mobility of course it's, it's it's now filling your bath with water taking a piece of iron managing to get it to float by putting drums or coke cans or something on it and then trying to turn it around but it's the size of your bath you're never going to get it to turn around that's what you're basically doing so i'm just not going to read everything i'm just going to quickly browse through my um Wait, yeah, something interesting. I just think they've named the next update. Now, in War Thunder, uh, in War Thunder, Andrea Doria will be the new battleship arriving to the top top rank of the Italian naval tree, following the release of the next major update, Drone Age. I haven't seen anything being announced about it. Drone Age. I think that is now the the name they're giving this update. Okay, cheeky, if I'm correct. Cheeky, cheeky. Being um, the second battleship to join the ranks of the Regina Marina in the game. Okay, so they do have one. Um, improve most nobility being the upgrade firepower over proceeding um i just don't want to read everything guys i just want to read what we're all really interested in and we're, we're all, all really just interested in the big guns that's what we're really interested in uh primary armament with 305 millimeters 12 inch guns however not only does the let letter pass one additional primary battery gun but their layout is vastly different than that found on the Danta Alaria. Namely, the guns on the Andoria Andria are split between three triple and two twin mounts, giving the ship a rather unique gun layout when it comes to naval vessels in War Thunder. However, the difference doesn't stop there. 
also features a vast improvement of secondary batteries, batteries unlike its sister ship. Its successor packs up to 1,652 mm 6-inch cannons situated in casemates above the ship's main belt armament on either sides. Now those are those guns over there you see running around there. Um, secondary weapons are complemented by 1376mm 3-inch cannons as well as two submerged uh, 450mm torpedo launchers. Critical however, anti-aircraft arsenal also saw an imp improvement over its sister ship. Namely, the ship is fitted with an additional 670 six millimeter aa guns as well as a pair of automatic 40 millimeter anti-aircraft cannons while this will be no means um ember to take down entire waves of attacking enemy aircraft singly handed single singly handed it does not improve its self-defense capabilities well that's a shitload of but the problem with it, it's all big, big calibers. You got no smaller calibers except for the uh, pair of uh, 40 mil automat aut automatic 40 millimeters. So you got big guns firing, and if you don't use the right ammo, those big guns won't help you much with the aircraft. In terms of armor protection, it's with the the belt armor. 250 mm identical to the predecessor however the plate on the turret front for instance is increased up to 280 millimeters slightly improved armor scheme capable with greater increase components of 1260 sailors and uh, officers makes this quite a big ship it's a small town on floating uh mobility with a propulsion system generating 3000 uh, 34000 horsepowers the vessel can reach a top speed of 21 kts or 40 kilometers an hour as a result captains will need to be mindful of their maneuvering and keep in mind um, evasion actions um, yeah 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 okay that's basically it so what do we can we tell we got 305 millimeter main guns we've got 76 millimeter guns and two pairs of bofors see there's your 76s 77 76s um yeah i think this is not gonna be a nice aircraft to try defend if you don't use proximity fuses shells it's gonna be difficult um but maybe i can be wrong but the only thing I think we'll say from aircraft and what we've all learned, these ships are sitting duck when it comes to aircraft. They're some of the easiest things to kill when it comes to aircrafts. Yeah, so, but once again, hat off to Gaijin. The modeling is brilliant. The, the ships look fantastic. Really, they do. All of them looks really, really nice. So, guys, that's all I've got to say about it um don't forget to hit the like dislike comment and share and really please do subscribe we are trying to get our subscribers up please really do we are aiming for 75 before the end of the year so and then also don't forget to go check out our sister channel logan munion dragon ball z Yu Gi Oh, smite and all of those games you will start uploading very soon and then also don't forget to go check out maverick rewind also war thunder player also does war thunder videos and all of that so yeah thanks a lot everyone keep well and i'll see everyone in the next one goodbye